Hi, this is Nate from HiTouch. Today I'm excited to share about our data contracts feature in HiTouch Events. HiTouch Events makes it easy for anyone to collect behavioral user events from their website or mobile app. Data contract is a feature available to everyone in HiTouch Events that allows users to proactively define the formats that their data should follow. This prevents you from storing bad data. Developers can proactively use data contracts to check their code before they deploy it and make sure that it's not going to introduce new data errors. Reactively, data contracts can quarantine bad data. This allows you to find and fix bugs and then rerun that data into your warehouse in the correct formats that you need. Now I'll hand it off to Ernest to give a demo of our data contracts feature. From the events product in HighTouch, we can navigate over to the contracts page to create new contracts and assign them to an event source. These contracts allow you to plan, manage, and enforce the data that you track through event collection. Let's start by creating an, a contract called e-commerce app. This contract defines what the event schema should look like for an iOS app or Android app for an e-commerce business. Here, you can add a description to your contract. For example, specification for e-commerce apps. In the next step, you can also select which sources to assign this contract to. In this case, we're going to assign it to the Android app and iOS app. Lastly, you can also configure how your contract is enforced, but let's come back to that later after we've created the contract. Now that we've created a contract, the first thing you'll want to do is create a specification for an event. As an example, we'll create a new event called order completed. This is a track event that tracks whenever a user completes an order. We can also configure what the format for the data inside order completed should look like. For example, we want to make sure the amount field on this event is always a number. If it's not a number, there's probably something wrong with the order event, so we need to stop and diagnose it. Similarly, we want to make sure product name is always a string. As you can expect, these schemas can get pretty complicated, so we allow you to directly edit a JSON schema as well. We can create this event by hitting save over here. After creating a couple of events here, the last thing we want to do is configure how this contract should be enforced. We can do this in enforcement settings on the top right. In this page, you can configure how we handle undeclared event types, undeclared fields, or invalid fields. For example, we want to make sure that events that are invalid, for example, that do not satisfy the schema, are blocked and don't get sent to the destination. We also want to make sure that any undeclared fields are emitted from the payload as well, so you can do that here as well. After that, you can hit save and it'll immediately change how your contract is being enforced. Data contracts is available to all users of high-touch events at no additional cost. We think that quality data should be table stakes for any event collection platform, so we're excited to offer this out of the box. We'd love to get in touch with you and hear more from you, and if you want to try out high-touch events, reach out to us. Thanks.